So once you build your house, then I think the next step is to come live in it. Live in it, absolutely. <laughs> You're gonna only have to go out for oil and salt and that's it. Like, you've got everything. If I could grow salt, I would. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's one of the reasons okay. why I love being in Ghana. Yeah. Just picking your food from the tree. Yeah, it's, you absolutely. Can't, it's amazing. Yeah, you can't yeah. beat that. Yeah. As somebody who has made it a point to showcase the reality of living in Ghana and moving from the diaspora to Ghana, it's important for me to showcase what's possible should you make a decision to move out this way. In this video, we're going to get to speak to a lovely lady who is from Canada, who has built this beautiful home, set up this beautiful garden. She's got her own farm. So much to see. It's absolutely stunning. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay with me. Let's go and tour the home. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So living in Ghana means access to high quality food, beautiful plants, trees, be it if you want to buy it in the markets, be it if you want to plant it in your own house. Today I'm with Lucy, who's come from Canada and is in Ghana at the moment. She has a beautiful home. She's got several plants. She's growing food stuff. She said she's got snails, all these good things. We're going to have a chat to her and explore her little garden. So let's go and speak to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Jasmine. How are you? Good. Thanks nice for to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for being on my channel. Oh, I'm... I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I love your garden. Thank you. It's so, so beautiful. Thank you. So um, I had a little um, plant shop in Canada. Oh, So okay. I had some tropical plants, but uh, you know, they, they're kind of in captivity in their little pots. <laughs> yeah. Do you live in an apartment over in Canada? Um, it's a townhouse. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. So there's cool. a little balcony. Okay. Um, but I had mostly house plants because of the weather. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice for to see them kind of in their native mm, environment. Yeah. And um, growing and yeah. thriving. <laughs> nice. Have you always been into plants? I've always loved them, but I kind of got more into plants around 2018. Oh, okay. I moved into a place with more light, okay. so I started to bring plants in, and next thing I knew, I had a plant shop. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. Is that still running, the one in Canada? It's online, on oh. hold at the moment while I'm in Canada. In, uh, Ghana. in Ghana. Okay. Maybe I'll start something here. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I mean, I would love to buy from you. Like, you so know. what um, What flowers have you got here at the moment? So there's many. Mm. Uh, some of them I don't know the names, the names of because okay. it was planted by another landscaper. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay. But okay. I did ask him, and I do know some of them. Okay. So this one here is a caladium. Yes. Those are quite easy to grow, actually. They are. Yeah, they are. I am the worst at taking care of plants and I've got some in my house they're and doing well. they're alive yeah. <laughs> yeah they pretty much take care of themselves, themselves yeah as I find here pretty much anything grows it's true so it's that true. helps and you guys are in a good spot as well this is what did you say the name of this area is Ashurasi Ash, uh, Ashurasi Ashurasi yeah Ashurasi okay yeah. <laughs> so it's only like 15 minutes from a brie really right yes but i've never heard of it prior oh, to yeah. today yeah yeah there's a lot of little towns in the yeah. every area yeah. so this is one of one them, of them. Yeah. <laughs> so it, everything is within walking distance like i even walked to a brie the other day oh did you that's a nice walk depending on the time of the day I the, guess. Yeah, yeah this is a quarter line mm -hmm. so this one um i just love all the pink in it yeah variation of color is there a green version of that one? Because I do have a plant that looks like that, but the leaves are green. Oh, there likely yeah. is. Yeah, I think yeah. there's many different uh, variations. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. there's a uh, Alagunta green, which we will move from oh, there. Oh, is that it? <laughs> If you need ah, one in your yard, maybe we can get I would one. love one. We have, you they're know so what? expensive, you know. Really? Yes, they're expensive now. We used to have it in my grandma's house, but now they're so expensive really? to buy. Really? Yeah. So, but you know what's funny you say that? Because one time in, in Canada, I was really craving sour sop or yeah. to green. So I went and uh, depending on the size, it was like $4.99 a pound. And it cost me twenty dollars <laughs> for it. I went about this big. Oh god! But I thought, you know, I, I you know, I just kind of miss home. I'll, I'll try the sour sauce. Yeah. It seemed like it was a little bit hard, so I left it out for a day. Mm -hmm. By the next day, it was spoiled. I couldn't eat it. 
That's $20 was, down the drain. I was so... Oh, be so mad. The money down the drain, and I didn't get to eat <laughs> to the To eat first. what you were craving. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, so yeah. that's one of the reasons okay. why I love being in Ghana. Yeah. Just picking your food from the tree. Yeah, it's, you absolutely. It's amazing. Yeah, you can't yeah. beat it. Yeah. Uh, basically, whenever we eat the aloguntugui, mm -hmm. we just throw the seeds in the back, and they start to grow. This is Some good. other propagations that we're doing. Oh, so okay. this is a hibiscus. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, there's some other stuff here that are we're working on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, some snake plants snake plant, here. Yeah. yeah. Do you have one? No. Oh, no? Would you that have survive to inside my house? Oh, yeah. It would? Yeah. Even though there's no light? Well, do you, you have some light, right? Unless I put it in the kitchen. Like, literally, it's only the kitchen where there's light. Everywhere was there's barely no any light. light. Yeah. Okay. So the thing with plants inside the house is Every plant, plant is going to need light for energy, oh, okay. um, but some tolerate lower light. Right. Okay. So the snake plant, I would, if you don't have any light, mm -hmm. then probably the kitchen might be best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It looks like my garden is going to be in my kitchen then, because like, <laughs> that's where all the yeah, light that's is. Yeah, where all the light is. My bedroom <laughs> barely has any light. <laughs> and then this is a morning glory. Oh. Okay. So yeah. So this plant, um, I'm learning more about different plants as I'm here yeah because uh, I didn't get to grow all this yeah, back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, back Canada. in Canada yeah. yeah but this one as Rashid said and Nantipapa so it oh, like, like it spreads it out spreads. Oh, okay. so yeah we had a few over there that I dug out and I'm gonna put different things here right. I don't know the name but they're very popular yeah I see it has everywhere. this nectar in it I remember oh, we really? used to like you just take it and just suck the nectar out of it. Oh, just as okay. kids, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know what it's called, though. Oh, yeah. the landscaper told me it's called um, Thumbergia. Thumbergia? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll have to do some research on it, find out more. Cool. But now you said it's edible. Oh, yeah. Well, I we used to do it as kids, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was good for us or not. <laughs> Well, you're still here, so I'm yeah, exactly. Sorry. <laughs> We're a bit on a slope. Mm -hmm. um, we just cut some of the terrace, and then we put some plants that help with a bit of the erosion that we yeah. were having. Oh, okay. Um, so this is some dracaena. Okay. And they can tolerate like a little bit light and mm. also lower light situation. Oh, okay. Can they grow in pots as well? They can. Okay. Yeah, I had this at the house in oh, Canada. Oh, did you? Okay. <laughs> So if you are able to grow it in Canada, then I can probably grow it in my oh, house. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You'll be able to. Okay. Yeah. And also you have the advantage of having like, even though it might not be too bright in the house, mm -hmm. it's still warm. Warm, yes. That's so that's right. helpful. Yeah. 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 Although I never did see them flower until here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't mind. So long as I have a little bit of greenery. <laughs> yes. Everybody I'll take needs anything it. at this point. <laughs> oh. But your house looks beautiful Thank too. You, you did Thank a great you. job with decorating Thank it. You, you have yeah. to come help me in the yeah, inside. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> I didn't think I'm an expert, but I'd love to. <laughs> and then this one is called Lantana. Okay. Yeah, so all the little blooms. Right, yeah. it's very pretty. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then there's another one that I also used to have and have in the shop, but I, I didn't see it bloom too often. Okay. But it's called a, some people say Kalancho and others say Kalankoe. Right, okay. Yeah. It's nice so. to see like the plants um, kind of live out their entire lifespan. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Because so. you feel like they can't go all the way over in Canada. They, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. And yeah. then you're also trying to create their natural environment mm, inside. Inside, <laughs> yes, yeah. So. I, oh. What kind of I, uh, fertilizer and stuff are you using? Are you using anything special or just like... No, I think Rashid just uses like chicken manure. Right, okay. Yeah, we're okay. Trying, we're trying to keep it very organic. Right, okay. Uh, he doesn't use anything, um, any chemicals as well. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then this is a croton. Mm -hmm. This is a popular one for yeah. us house plant lovers. Yeah. <laughs> so these survive inside as well, do they? They do. Okay. And then um, Rashid told me that this helps fight off um, snakes. Oh. So we have it planted everywhere. <laughs> what are they called? Do you get snakes around here? Well, not not really so much right now. Oh, okay. But just in case. In case, yeah. Because <laughs> you're next to the bush, I guess. So. Yeah. 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 But when they first started building, apparently there were a lot of snakes. Yeah, I can imagine. So, yeah. yeah, I think that's the case with Yana. Most new buildings, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. would find. But them. anyway, it has a nice scent to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It smells very, it smells a little bit like aquacomesa. Oh, you know like what that. I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, it does a little bit. Just this is a bit more heavy. I right. Guess. Yeah. It might be like I think it's edible, but I'm not sure. I'll have yeah. to like, double check. It's also something you can cook with. I think yeah. so. I yeah. went to um, a plant um, festival that they had in Accra. Oh, okay. And I bought that. Oh, okay. So it's called a, a Sanchezia plant. Oh, right. Yeah. And it's kind of funny because I was looking. Um, I was watching a video the other time. Someone had a, a beautiful garden in Florida, mm -hmm. in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh my goodness, I love this plant. I hope I can find it in Ghana. Yeah. So when I did, I was super You were excited, <laughs> yeah. I was really excited. Yeah. And then this is a red button ginger plant. Mm, yeah. I've never so, seen that one yeah, before. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It starts off like this, and then it starts having these bunny ears. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. very firm. Yeah. I'll have to learn more about it too. It looks I don't... like a succulent. Like I, it, it, it seems is, like yeah. it. Yeah. Because mm. even the leaves are succulent like. Mm. See, you know a lot about plants already. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> and then there's more of that morning oh, glory. Yeah. Yeah. The ones here are looking really good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> They're loving their life. Mm. <laughs> And then this is the food forest. Oh, back wow. Here. It's so big. Yeah. So I think I'm going to rearrange things in the near future. But mm -hmm. for now, we, you know, there's quite a bit of food yeah. items here. So That's really cool. I see contumere, cassava, <laughs> yeah. plantain. Yep. Uh, what's in your beds? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we, I sewed that with Rashid about a couple weeks ago. Okay. Um, we have tomatoes okay different varieties of them mm -hmm. um we also have uh okra okay and cabbage the white and the red one. Oh, nice um what else did we put just a bunch of stuff <laughs> you're gonna only have to go out for oil and salt and that's it like you've got everything if i could grow salt i would <laughs> <laughs> I get it because it tastes better when you grow it at home and it's more exciting you definitely. know like yeah definitely you so yeah you just come to your backyard grab the ingredients yeah and go inside. yeah <laughs> the other day we picked some contumere they're so big as yeah. well the contumere yeah so there's so many yeah I can see that like this whole section was all uh, oh, contumere. Oh. And contumere oh right yeah. okay did you cut them we did. Oh, okay. Because yeah. the plantain, after a while, you can't, like, they don't bear food yeah. again, right? Yeah. So, I, from my understanding, it's like the mother plant is there and then it has offshoots, the babies. Right. So, once the mother dies, then the babies take over and it's right. like a cycle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the banana does the same thing, too. Oh, you've got bananas as well. We do. I can never tell the difference between the plantain you know, and the it's banana funny. tree. I, right? I, I said to my dad, okay, Jasmine's same. coming. Can you explain to me the <laughs> So you can expect <laughs> they look the same. That's what I said. But apparently, with the banana, he said that the where the um the fruit is starting, there's like a little powdery substance mm -hmm. that's white. Oh, so that's typically the banana. Oh, okay. And then for the uh, plantain, it's more green. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then, from what I understand as well, the banana leaf is more kind of narrow. Oh, yeah. okay. So even when it's small, you can kind of like differentiate. Right. What's so this that? one, orange. This, this tall oh, one this here. one here is uh, avocado. Avocado. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you have like uh, four avocado trees. Nice. We <laughs> might have to get rid of a couple of them. They're so expensive, you know. You know. Oh, yes. They are. They really so are. Good. Yeah. And then we've got a um, mango. Oh, that's a mango. Yeah. I've only seen them really big, you know, so I've never really seen right. them looking like this. Yeah, this is fairly new. new. Okay. I think it's like... And then we've also got guava and oh, palm. Uh, passion fruit. You got passion fruit. We do. Where is it? I've never, <laughs> I've never seen a passion fruit tree. I didn't even know you could grow those in Ghana. Well, they're, oh yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. okay. they're more vining type. Okay. So right now it's growing all over the plantain. Right. Okay. Um, so this is a bit of an outdoor kitchen, like nice. olden day type. Yeah, you I guys just, have I it all going it. on yeah. here, don't you? <laughs> so Shaibu and his uh, family use that. Use that. Okay. But I, I said to him, don't dismantle it. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> can I show you something? Yeah, quickly? sure. So this he showed me the other day. His mm -hmm. wife was using it for um, making fufu. Oh. And I just was like, because I'm so used to seeing it. The pounded the, the one. The wood one. Yeah. But he, this is actually it's like some probably ancient people that used to live here. So how did they do it? 
they I don't even know how they So do you still pound it or you Yeah, they were making fufu in here. In here. Yeah. So, so instead of the withdraw, they used this. They used this. Mm. It was it was amazing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I've never, never I thought heard it was it. pretty yeah. cool. The fact that it's stone and it's gonna last forever. Forever basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wonder who's used it prior to them using it. True. Yeah. Apparently this area was I think it was a plantain farm or something. Oh, okay. Past, so, okay. Yeah. Prior to you buying it and building yeah, on it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. How long have you had it? We bought it, uh, the land in 2012. Oh, okay. And started building in 2014. Okay. Yeah. Is it a plot? The size this is two it? plots. Two plots. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's quite big, yeah. yeah about mm. two plots. And it's funny because at the time, um, we're like, oh, it's a little bit in in the boonies. We only need two plots, and then we're like, oh, we should come. You should have bought more. <laughs> I know. It's always it, a bit like yeah. that. Yeah. Because I just love the it here. It's black soil on mm, the ground, mm. so everything grows, grows in Ghana yes, anyways. Yes, yes. Yeah. But it's especially rich soil. Yeah. So, but it's nice. okay. We're grateful of what, what with what we have. Yeah, you're <laughs> in a good spot as well mm -hmm. in terms of like. You're not far from a brie, but you're still in like your little isolated. It's nice and cool. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I love really, it. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Do you know what you paid for for it? Oh, at the time, I believe it was like 7,000 cities. Per plot. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We should have bought more. <laughs> wow. And now, like, and then I'm probably like over 80 of right course. now. <laughs> And the road is done now too, so yeah, yeah. yeah you definitely pay like yeah. close to a hundred thousand. Oh, wow. Yeah. We thought, oh no, you know it's gonna take like twenty years for the place to develop. <laughs> has it been? What, what has it been? Twenty twelve. Okay, ten years. Yeah, it's been about, it's not long yeah. at all. Yeah, we just kind of took our time building. Yeah. But um, yeah, and then we're like, okay, so once you build your house, then. I think the next step is to come live in, live in it. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I wanted to show you this really cool plant that my dad showed me. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name of it, but I'll let you feel it and you tell me what it feels like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Does it have thorns on it? It's, it's so it's like paper, yeah. like cardboard or something. Exactly. It doesn't really smell like anything. Yeah, so see how you said paper? So he said when he was younger, they used to use it for sanding things. Like, you know, when you use sand yeah, paper. Right. Cause yeah, right. Because it feels like you could use it for yeah. Wow. And also for like um, pots, like when they're cleaning the pots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they use this instead. <laughs> So it's like interesting. There's something usable in yes, for everything. Everything, in absolutely. <laughs> how fascinating. <laughs> What's it called? I don't know. Oh, okay. He couldn't remember the name. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a bit rough back here, but mm -hmm. um, we're still kind of, we've done the landscaping in the front, but we haven't done the back yet. Right. So yeah. this is the next project. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do something over here mm. and have maybe a little, the outdoor kitchen type of look. Right. Because I was like, okay, I'd like to mix the modern with a bit of the, um, the old day. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We still want to keep the the Ghana vibe alive. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's like, you know, every time you go to people that have a little bit of a farm's backyard, this is this, this is what it looks like, like yeah. generally speaking. Yeah. And my grandma has a little bit of a garden as well. But, you know, once you're in a car, it's not the same, oh, you know. <laughs> but still, you know. Still, still, still. <laughs> we got to maintain the uh, the gardening. Yes. There's a lot, a lot of concrete jungles out there, unfortunately. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Do you do much to take care of these ones or it's all Rashid? that does it Rashid mostly does mostly this does one it, but yeah. but in the back here it's like everything's just taking care of itself, itself. okay yeah it's yeah. really just the front that he kind of manicures a bit mm -hmm. but for the time being it's it's a forest okay <laughs> okay so there's about half a plot back here for the right. backyard okay yeah so what's the vision for it when you change it up what are you going to do oh with it? I wanted to do but I would like a pond Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how, if how that's gonna work yeah. here, but oh, because there's a little bit of a a little hole a there. A little hole yeah, there. I can so, see that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Level the land a little bit. Yeah. But not too much because I like to have a terrace look, mm -hmm. just so it's like there's like little rooms within the garden, mm -hmm. and I, you know when you're socializing, you can kind of just go to different pockets yeah. of the garden. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But cool. still maintain the. Um, the fruits. Yeah. yeah. Types yeah. of, like all these avocados, we grew them by eating it and just putting the seed there. Oh, and it just germinated it just on its germinated. own. You know, 
Yeah. What part of Canada are you? So we were in um, Ontario, uh, province of Ontario. Oh, right. Close okay. to Toronto. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. And how long have you been there? Oh, too long. <laughs> <laughs> Canada is a great place, but yeah. I've been there for a while. Yeah. It's 30 years. <laughs> Wow. As of October 2022. Right. So I think, uh, yeah, it's time to spend some time in, good. in Canada. Yeah, yeah, good. But were you coming back often? Um, somewhat. Okay. Like um, I, when I went to Canada, I didn't come back for 16 years. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I tried to come more regularly. Right. But the last time since this time mm -hmm. was five years ago. Okay. <laughs> That's so, still not yeah. too bad. And because yeah. of everything with, yeah, like, with COVID and all that, and all that too. Stuff, yeah, so that enough. delayed some plans. Yeah. But, you know, You're here now. We thank so. God we're here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so this one, it, it bent a little bit. Oops. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful when you're okay. coming down here. So this is the guava. Oh. Yeah. It's not ready yet either. They look like um, limes or something. They do. Yeah. <laughs> Minus, you know, the little thing. Yeah. yeah. I've never actually seen one ripe in real life, so oh, I'm okay. experiencing the garden as well. Good. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping these palms. Mm. I think Rashid planted them like five years ago. Okay. And uh, I just love, I love how tall they are. Yeah. <laughs> and they kind of like, they form like a little bit of an umbrella it's type true. thing. Lovely. It's true. It's yeah. a bit of a canopy when you're underneath yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure people in Ghana already know, but anyway, this is not a good example. But under the um, contour, the, yeah, yeah, the contour, yeah. the there's the cocoa yam. Coco yam, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go, guys. If you've never seen a cocoa yam before, this is what it looks like. <laughs> and then here is the, uh, if I can find it, the passion fruit. Oh, so see like these tendrils, right? So it, it climbs. Yeah, it's like a vining plant. So, is there any fruits on here? Um, oh wow, it goes all the way up there. Yeah, oh. flowers. You need to let me know when the fruits are coming so I oh, can bring yeah. my basket. <laughs> Definitely, you're always welcome. And I was, oh, wow. That is interesting. That pawpaw is so tiny and it's still got a fruit. Oh, on yes, it. yeah, this one just. Everything back here basically came just like it randomly. is so random. Yeah. <laughs> Are you only planning on keeping chickens? Are you going to keep anything else? Oh, here, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's probably just like maybe quail or actual chicken. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's the plan for now. But mm. I, uh, Rashid does have some snail that he was doing. Okay. I don't. They're kind of roaming right now. So. Oh, they're open. Like they're allowed to go everywhere. At the moment, yes. Oh, okay. yeah. So they'll, they'll probably all be in hiding then because yes. it's warm now. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. And then this is the other side of the garden. So oh. this is more also uh, kind of ornamental, non edible right. stuff. Mm. Yeah. Who did your landscaping? So um, a friend of ours. Okay. Yeah. He kind of drew it on paper and he sent it to me. And I looked at it and right. I said, oh, can we do this? Can we do that? So, um, but most of the plants he picked himself. Okay. Yeah. He told he did me. a good job. Yeah. He did. Yeah, and he here, did. because again, because of the slope. Mm -hmm. So we there was like some of the soil was washing away. Mm -hmm. So we put these uh, Tradescantia there to kind of help with that mm -hmm. um, and just add some beauty too. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks very pretty. <laughs> and then we have more of the Dracaena here. Mm. And this is a cane palm. Mm. I just like how it frames kind of the yeah, garden. Yeah, these are pretty wherever yeah. you put them, yeah. yeah. And then um, my favorite plant, the Monstera deliciosa. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I have some version of these. I think I saw it in yeah, your video. Yeah, I do have a version of these. Yeah. So mine don't have holes in them, but the shape is like this. It will get holes, but it's, oh, it, it does that when it matures. Oh, okay, yeah. so it's probably not mature yeah. enough. Yeah, and yeah. then they call it uh, deliciosa because it actually bears fruit. Oh, does it? It does, oh, yeah. Okay. So once it gets, this is uh, a cutting from the, from, uh, the neighbor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, but okay. Uh, yeah, once it gets bigger, then it, it will. I've never tasted it before. Okay. But from what I was reading, it's like a pineapple y oh, tropical taste. So once it, These are huge. Yeah, this, this random contomre that's it's here. so big. And the landscaper said, Oh, we'll have to take it out. I'm like, Oh, this is Yeah, looks just big. leave me. I know. 
Like, we're not going to eat this I'm one. Not. <laughs> Why do you see contemporary leaves this big? You don't. I think we never leave them to get to that big. To get that big, yeah. <laughs> We've got an apple tree mm -hmm. here. It hasn't bared fruit yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to see if I can get it to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what kind of apple? Like, just regular apple? No, this is, um, it's uh, from Kenya. We got oh, it in. So okay. it's. It grows in tropical places. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, okay. and then this is the, you know the katawoto plant? Yes, yes, you touch <laughs> it and then it closes. Yeah. This was like always a big... These come up on their own, don't they? They, You know, they're weeds here. They are weeds. <laughs> but back in Canada, I used to have them at the shop and like they were always a big hit. Oh, really? <laughs> You're joking. I'm not. Wow. So when I saw it, I got all excited. And this lady was like, Ucha, cut the wood <laughs> She found it so funny. Oh, but I just nice. love them. Yeah. So I was, but here they just run wild. Yeah, they do. You yeah. see them everywhere. I didn't even know they were that valuable. <laughs> <laughs> so this was outside. It wasn't here. Right. But um, he saw one and he dug it up in front. Oh, did he? <laughs> so now I'm planting weeds in the garden. <laughs> This is another plant that used to be popular in the shop. It's a prayer plant. Okay. So at night the leaves close. Oh. I think it's like conserves water or something. Okay. Um, your garden is pretty. Thank you. <laughs> and I bet it's cut, cutting a lot of your costs as well. When, well, I mean, food is pretty cheap in garden, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, don't get me. Whenever I go grocery shopping, I'm like, oh, this is cheap. My dad's like, don't say that. Yeah. You can't say that in front of the women. Like, you have to say it, like, silently. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> otherwise, they would triple the price it's for you. <laughs> it's true. But I'm learning how to know, like, when something should not be that price. That price, yeah. 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 So it's, little it's, by little. Yeah, it's yeah. a little hard in the beginning, yeah. but you, you are dumb. But with my two by four tree, they know that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while I've been here. Yeah. <laughs> so are you looking at moving to Ghana? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, that was always in the works, but you know, sometimes like life just happens. Absolutely. And then next thing you know, you're like, oh, it's been 10 years. Yeah, so, yeah. I think once the house was like, now that it's near completion, mm -hmm. pretty much done, we're like, okay, it's time. It's time to come. Yeah, yeah. it just kind of worked out at the Love perfect it. time. Yeah, it's great. So I'm excited to um, to be here. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, thanks for taking us around, Thank Lucy. You for so, if people are interested in like plants, or oh. you know, they're keen to oh. know about it, or maybe they're building as well, mm. and they need help to, you know put together a beautiful garden like yours can they reach out to you sure yeah okay um so i'm on instagram it's yeah. at grow for it mm -hmm. so it's uh, without the w so yeah. g-r-o-f-o-r-i-t yeah um and also i'm gonna start a youtube channel hopefully <laughs> okay <laughs> so maybe i'll uh, put more garden tours and different cool. things on there that'd too. be really good yeah. looking forward to it <laughs> i'll put lucy's instagram link in the description box below so you guys can contact her if you want to i hope you guys have enjoyed this the tour of this beautiful home the garden is so pretty i yeah it's a bit far i would say i'll come here for food every day but i can't it's far <laughs> but it's lovely i've enjoyed it thank you lucy oh, i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you want to see more videos like this make sure you give me a thumbs up don't forget to follow your bliss so now life is short follow your bliss na ni paye den follow your bliss na di bisi bia ye and follow your bliss na den na mada take care guys i'll see you in the next one bye